Hi everyone! In today's video, I'll be showing you how I did these rainbow fire nails using once again the new Holo Taco collection. I had done these nails a while back on my other hand, so the reason I never made a proper post or tutorial is because I always post my other hand designs only on my Instagram stories. Someone back then asked me for a tutorial, so here it is months later. Sorry for the delay. I started off with a peel off base coat. At this point, I could stop saying it. Then I went in with a white base for no reason because simply polishes are super opaque. But I'm so used to doing gradient this way so that's what's happening, okay? You could also apply a coat of the lighter shade of the gradient as the base color, but I find that's just a waste of polish, since you're gonna do the gradient on top anyway. Next step is to apply protection for your skin. Why did I say that in such a weird way? Moving on, I still don't have liquid latex because I am a professional procrastinator. I actually have a master's degree in putting things off, so I'll be using a good old tape. It works fine, but I should really get that liquid latex for the sake of the environment. Here I'm applying my two colors vertically on the sponge. Then I dabbed it on my nails. Don't dab too much because you'll remove the tint and you'll be left with a muted silver gradient. Repeat these steps until the gradient is opaque enough and well blended. You want to do a left and right motion since this is a vertical gradient. When you're done with one nail, cut off the sponge and it's good as new. I did the rest of my nails with the other colors of the rainbow. Quick note here, I got three Holo Tacos makeup sponges as a gift with the collection. I tried them for this gradient I showed you in my last video, but I dabbed once or twice on my nails and I didn't like it. No shade to Simply, but her sponges are too dense and not squishy enough for my taste. Like her sponge doesn't get the sides of my nail very well. I prefer my dollar stores one that are more flexible and also way cheaper. So yeah, I wouldn't buy them cause they're too stiff for my liking. Now it's time to clean those cuticles. I first use a cotton swab dipped in acetone to remove the polish. Then I went in with a cleanup brush, also dipped in acetone, for more precise cleanup. When I was done, I applied the glossy top coat to smooth it out. Now it's time for the freehand part. I used acrylic paint and a detail brush to do the flames. I did them a little bigger than I actually want them, cause it's less annoying. It's less annoying! Uh. I did them a little bigger than I actually wanted them because it's less annoying to add more black afterwards than having to remove it with the toothpick method. I filled in my outlines and that's it! And all that is left is to apply a final glossy top coat. I actually ended up applying a second coat of camera because acrylic paint tends to soak in the top coat for some reason. And here's the finished nail art! I think they turned out really great and the rainbow adds a lot to the design. It's so pretty in the sun, my camera doesn't even do it justice. I've always loved chunky holo polishes more than linear hollows, but this collection from Holo Taco is making me rethink that. I have lots of other nail art ideas to do with this collection, so you will definitely be seeing more of it in the future. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and the double rainbow fire. If you did, you can give me a like and comment down below which gradient is your favorite combination. You can also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!